Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this fun spring lilac makeup look um, inspired by I Love Sarai. She posted a very gorgeous spring look right here. I have it for you guys. And I was like, I need to recreate it. So mine looks a little different kind of more on the cooler side more of a periwinkle vibe but i'm obsessed on how it looks and all the products that i use i actually use the new bh cosmetics flower power palette literally screams spring vibes in here um but yeah if you guys are interested to see how i got this look right here then i suggest you keep on watching but before we start this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts and without further ado let's get right into today's video so we're gonna jump right into the eye look so I don't have like a lilac or like a light purple base so I'm going to be making a little mix here I have a pink like fuchsia one a uh, baby blue and then a regular like white cream looking base so I'm just gonna mix them all together just to get like the perfect like lilac color so I'm first going to go in with the shade um, Rumor number 2 on the back of my hand. I'm going to use more of this color because um, in order for it to get that like pastel color, I need to make sure there's a lot. So I'm just going to do like a little dot of the blue one. This one is Poppin' Pink. And then I'm going to mix it all together. I should probably use like a mixing pad, but I'm just going to use my hands. Alright, so can you guys see that? It's definitely like a nice lilac color. I'm pretty much going to grab like a blending brush, take some of that base, and then just begin to pack it on the eyelid and then blend it. This is just going to make the eyeshadows um, apply a lot better and more opaque because when you use like pastel shades, it's hard for them to blend out. I feel like they become very powdery. I just haven't found like the perfect pastel shade to use by itself without a base but I think that's like common a lot of people have to do that okay so I already have the base on so now I'm gonna go into this eyeshadow palette this is the flower power by BH cosmetics I was like perfect for this makeup look like look at all those purples pinks all the lilacs I'm excited so I'm going to be doing the same thing pretty much just grabbing a purple and blending it all over um, I'm going to be using a Sigma e38 brush and I'm taking this shade right here which is dream and we're just gonna pack that on the lid and then begin to blend it. So this is definitely coming out a little bit more blue and periwinkle, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, so now I want some more of like a pink purple tone. So I'm going to take the shade right here, which is Daisy and apply that above the crease. I'm also gonna mix a little bit of this Unity shade right here. So I'm gonna mix Unity and Daisy. All right, and then I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit with a makeup wipe. Okay, so this piece shade right here is calling my name. So I think I'm gonna apply that kind of like in the center of the lid, not too much in the inner corner, just in the center. Yes, super cute. Okay, I'm kind of adding more than I thought, but just keeping it in the front of the lid. Alright, do you guys see that? I really like how that looks. This is coming like more galaxy than spring, but it'll work out. <laughs> so now I want to go ahead and add a wing. So I'm going in with my Araceli Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. So I did a nice bold wing. I love this um, liquid liner because it dries so matte and 
It's so easy to apply. This is like my go-to eyeliner at the moment. So now for my lashes, I'm gonna go in with my Lashes by Bajari Bloom Lashes. Um, I have the regular ones, obviously, but then I also have another pair of the Bloom Lashes that I cut, like very short. Full lash or cut lash? I think I wanna use the cut lash because this one kinda takes too much of the look. I just want something more sparse. So what I basically did is I like, cut the front half off so it has like half the lash. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes off camera and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and applied the lashes on. All right, so now we're going to move on to the face. So for today's foundation, I'm going in with my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation in the shade 113 Light. So I just applied it like so and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge and blend it out. Alright, so now for concealer, I'm going in with two. I'm going with the Wet n Wild Incognito um, Concealer and the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I kind of apply it like that and then I go in with the Incognito and just put a little more. And then go in with the same beauty sponge. Now that we applied the concealer, I'm going to go in and set under my eyes using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I honestly don't use anything else other than this Laura Mercier Powder to set under my eyes. I have not found anything that's as good as it, so let me know if you get another dupe because I want to switch it up, but I'm like, I can't because it's so good and I can't just leave her like that, you know? But anyways, I'm going to use this powder to set under the eyes and the nose area. So now to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade number 10. Now I'm looking very pale and just blank, so we need to add some bronzer. So now I'm going to go in this BFF face palette and just mix both the bronzers in here. Okay, so now for some blush, I'm going in with this Flower Power Blush Kit by BH Cosmetics. I'm just in love with this whole Flower Power collection. It's so freaking cute. So I'm going to mix Chill Out and Psychedelic, which are these two shades right here. Using a stippling brush to apply it. I want a lot of blush for this look. BH Cosmetics blushes are always super pigmented. I love it. Before we go in with any um, highlighter, I do want to set my face, so I'm going in with the Professional Super Setter by Benefit. I love to just drench my face. I feel like it just soaks everything in and just looks so nice. So while we let that set a little bit, I'm going to go in with my 24-hour brow setter by Benefit to comb these brows out. Okay, so for some highlight, I'm going in with my MAC O oh Darling Highlight. This is like my ride or die. This just gives me a nice glow without looking like, damn, she has hella highlighter. It's just like a nice, subtle glow. I mean, you can make it look like, damn, she has hella highlight, but I'm just not a fan of that look anymore. Just a subtle glow. And then I'm going to go in and spray some more of the setting spray. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the same palette to smoke up the lower lash line a little bit. So I'm going to take the same dream shade and just line the lower lash line with that. Like I don't want a too intense lower lash line just to tie everything together. And then also take the daisy shade. Now to complete the eye look, I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. So lastly, for the lips, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop BFF Lip Liner. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply the Beauty Creations X Marilla Twins in the shade Brie Brie. Such a nice, like, nude um, brown lipstick. I just wanted to keep the lips neutral because we already have a lot of purple going on up here. So we're going to go ahead and do this lip combo.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna go fix up my hair, change up the outfit to match the vibe, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the completed spring lilac purple makeup look. I'm obsessed on how it came out. Definitely scream spring, periwinkle vibes. I'm obsessed. I love all the pastels. But yeah, guys, that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like to see in the future. Please subscribe, stay blooming, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay.